Christopher Goff has to be one of the most imaginative men in the world. He is the art director of the film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I knew the story by Raoul Dahl and admired it greatly. Technically, the picture is a special effects type of picture and the art director's job is very important. Raoul Dahl, on the set with actor Gene Wilder, who plays Willy Wonka, explains the way Harper Goff conceived of this storybook setting. In a book, one can imagine these different rooms just as large as one wants to. There's a limit to how big and marvelous you can make them, but within those limits, he's, well, he's almost gone beyond them, I should think. He's built the most marvelous and enormous sets filled with every kind of ingenious gadget and, and uh, beauty as well. I think he's a very, uh, very clever man. Harper Goff has won two Academy Awards for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Fantastic Voyage. With this new film, he had to design and construct some really unbelievable contraptions. Willy Wonka is uh, a strange, zany character. He is probably a reincarnation of Rube Goldberg. Everything he makes almost doesn't work, but turns out to work remarkably well. Of course, you don't go out and buy funny chocolate-making machines. You have to invent them and build them, and that's one of the pleasures that I had of designing these things, making them funny, then follow it through construction and see that it works, that it is still funny. Whiffed an eagle, stronger than lion! Harper Goff also fashioned a giant candy factory, complete with river of chocolate and chocolate waterfall. The unique structure is now ready for director Mel Stewart to guide the stars of the motion picture. Candy maker Gene Wilder, young Charlie, played by Peter Ostrom, and Jack Albertson as Grandpa Joe, to bring alive all the wonderful characters of Raoul Dahl's imagination. Willy Wonka invents all the strange and fabulous and wonderful kind of candies that every child dreams about. Everything that looked like candy had to be edible because in the story the children go around in the main chocolate room eating the, the growing candy. and the Chocolate Factory is not just another children's story. This is one of the rare, really funny fairy tales. And it's funny to the adult. The children will laugh for one reason, and the adults will laugh for a totally different reason. In other words, designer Harper Goff is telling you to use your own pure imagination. You'll be free if you truly 